You know, there are some pieces of electronic media that are just not worthy of anything. They're not, they're not worthy of being acknowledged. The mere fact I'm talking about it is too good for it. But here I am. Frogger the Great Quest is something so unpleasant, it leaves me with a feeling of hopelessness. That for everything that humankind could make in the past, present and future, for all our great marvels, something horrible lies in its roots. Like a frog in my throat. This... It, it, it leaves me with a feeling of disgust. This is one game that left me with no joy, no excitement, no engagement, no hoppiness. Frogger The Great Quest is a PS2 game released in November 2001 by Konami. Ah yes, Konami. Now look, I get it's all fine and dandy to hate on Konami. I mean, come on, they fired me. Apparently. But this was back when Konami was shit hot, so let's pretend we're back in 2001, where nothing bad happened. Yep. Nothing bad happened in 2001. So with our respect for Konami back, let me just say this. Really? Konami. Konami published a bloody Frogger game. And not only a Frogger game, but one that got 3 out of 10 from IGN and a Metascore critic of 32. Jesus, talk about a fall from grace. You go from this to this. Literally within 5 days. So let's not waste any more time, let's hop in. And no, I'm not going to be doing frog puns the entire episode. That's too hard, I'll probably croak. Okay, and we have a problem. Literally the first line, and I hate it. What did this fat idiot say? How you love, frog? How you love? How you love? I want to zap new bugs, swim new streams, be frog loose and froggy free. Classic princess wanting more in the world story. Ah, riveting. Then Frogo spots a couple of kids fishing at a stream. Be to see the dead dragon? Oh. She picked up the frog and kissed what? it. Oh god, I don't think Frog is imagining about a kiss. <laughs> then, a bunch of giant mosquitoes donned as a pirate, pilot, and a communist leader? What? Attack the kids. And Frogger, our protagonist, doesn't even try to help. That was a close one, Shaw. Sure. Next time they make us dinner. Well, okay then, dickheads. I just have to find me a princess somewhere. I wish I may, I wish I must. Find a princess before I bust! Before you bust. Okay, I made those innuendos before because it was easy. Now you're making it Kirby's epic yarn too easy. Upon wishing upon a star, a fairy frog mother appears. No, that's not my pun. She's called that. Can you help me find a princess whose kiss will turn me into a prince? One, you can see magic. Well, okay, I don't think he wished for that, but okay. That of protection! Now you cannot die while in pursuit of Princess Hot Lips. <laughs> Princess Hot Lips? Princess Hot Lips. That's the worst name I ever heard. <laughs> also, can we just comment on the fact she just granted immortality like it was nothing? And with that, Frogger starts his journey, lickety split. Because frogs have long tongues. I told you this would be hard. Oh my god, these controls. These controls are mind froggingly bad. The first few. <laughs> Mind froggingly fucking hell. The first few steps and you feel it. You just feel it. They are so stiff, so inflexible, it feels as if you're driving a car. But not like croc where you drift, because you can still turn on a dime. There's no momentum to anything. It's near impossible to describe properly. And the worst part is, this is the best part of the controls. It's all downhill from here. Frogger has many different moves at his disposal. Swimming is basic enough. Eating with circle is also basic, although not actually using your tongue is a huge flavor fail. But the rest are frogging awful. First of all, climbing. I don't think I need to say anything. Just watch.
but as mind-numbingly boring as it is, it at least works. And when I say that the best aspect about your game is that it works, you're in for a bad time. That's like saying the food was edible, the exam results were passable, the YouTube video was 10 minutes long. But where the game really croaks is jumping. The jumping in this game is mortifyingly horrendous. It's astounding how terrible it feels to jump and attempt platforming. Frogger does not jump naturally. He sort of pounces from a running position. There's absolutely no momentum in the air. Every jump to a platform feels as if you're aiming for a needle head while drunk and the controller is upside down. If it wasn't for this mouth bubble glide move, I wouldn't be able to make any jump. But as messed up as the jumping controls are, in a game about a frog no less, the combat. Oh my god, the combat. I will now proceed to show you a basic enemy encounter in this piece of interactive electronic media. Snickers, lights. This is it. It is nothing. Purgatory. There is a lot of combat in this game, and after the hours of gameplay, I can confidently tell you right now, I have no idea how this fighting works. I don't know what hits, what doesn't, how I get hit, how much health they have, how to avoid to get hit, I have absolutely no info to work off. I literally mashed square until I won out of pure luck and sheer frustration. And Frogger just does not shut up. Yikes! Enemies constantly, and I do mean constantly, run away. They just run the opposite direction. And I don't mean like they get scared and they bail. I just mean they walk into a wall. What am I even playing? On top of the awful hand-to-hand -hand combat, I'm not saying that. There's a spit attack for some range and hitting certain objects, and a special move which gives you an elemental flair. But in all honesty, they don't do much. It's better just to run away from the enemies. What the fuck? What the? What the fuck? What? what? Huh. So far, we have a game with inaccurate jumping controls, a broken camera, annoying sound effects, stale gameplay, and a non-existent combat system. How does it get worse? Well, buckle up, chuckle fucks. Uncle Terry is about to show you how. Now before I rip this game a new asshole, let me say this. The story is lame, I get that. I understand that it's about a frog going to different places in search of a princess, but the story, the adventure, is so goddamn random, and it's only exacerbated by the cringeworthy dialogue. I'm just a frog. Okay, so what do you want from me? Do you know a princess? Forget it, I'm no encyclopedia. I gotta go. Enough. Can I see the princess now? No! Ah! Stinky Spinkies! A stinky biggie? Because you're staying for lunch. But I'm not hungry. Oh, uh, Mr. Terry Bite, it's just a Frogger game. It doesn't need a flowing narrative. What did you expect? Lord of the Rings? No. But. The issue is literally nothing connects with one to another. You go from a basic swamp forest level and fairy villages to giant robot chicken fights and Aztec ruins. You meet so many different characters that just show up and never appear again. It's seemingly random. You forget them as soon as you leave the level. From a Dracula wannabe, a disgusting abomination of nature, a friendly bear with the face of a pedophile, and straight up the Grim Reaper. An evil scientist, a witch, a cat dragon, vampire princess, random goblin king, they all just exist and never show up until the very ending as if they were our friends along the way. The only character I remember without looking is the vampire daughter here. Not for her personality, she has none, but because she walks very slowly to lead us to our next objective. Although Frogger just stares at her ass. 
Not even subtle, just straight thirsty for some cold blood vampire booty. Each enemy, no, each character are just so ugly, the good guys and the bad. I genuinely feel a lot of PS1 games look better than this. And don't get me started on the animations, even the FMV looks ugly. How? How do FMVs look ugly? You know, Frogger was a game about crossing the road. Now, I know you can't make a PS2 game just based on this idea, and to make something like this, I'll admit, it's creative. But it's so rushed, sloppy and poorly executed, and pretty much unfinished. With mutilated controls, awful visuals, non-existent camera, boring gameplay, near impossible platforming, obnoxious sound effects, and a story so nonsensical it makes the pacing of the room seem like Citizen Kane, this here is an unforgettable frog and toad of shit. I told you I'd croak. Alright Terry, I'm fucking done with ya!